Good news! I'm so happy to share this with you guys at this time. First and foremost, I want to appreciate you all my viewers and subscribers for believing in me and taking me this far on this channel, Reggae School of Fashion. I'm super, super delighted to announce the birth of my second channel, which is Kidswear with Reggie. This channel is dedicated to every aspect of fashion designing that has to do with kidswear for both male and female child, ranging from native wears, traditional wears, corporate wears, school uniform styles, graduation gown, cap styles, sutana, and lots more. Kindly find time to check out this channel. The link to the channel is in the description box under this video. Thanks so much and God bless you. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make a male celestial garment, Brother Sutana in particular. In this tutorial, I will be taking you through the process of drafting a male Brother Sutana bodice, the Sutana collar, which is also known as Bishop collar, the shoulder placket, the side extension, the sleeve and measurements needed in drafting all these i know you've been waiting for this on youtube for a very long time and i'm super excited to be sharing this with you at this time as well go ahead and smash the subscribe button now as i will be waiting for you in class after this time out In making brother sutana, the following measurements are needed. The back measurement. Back measurement is a measurement taken from one shoulder point to another. And I have 18 inches. So this measurement has to be divided by 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9 inches. Please all measurements are taken in inches. Then I added 1 inch as is because it is a sutana. So with this I have 10 inches in total. The armhole depth. Armhole circumference divided by 2 is equal to armhole depth. The armhole circumference measurement I'm working with is 18.5. Divided by 2, I have 9.25. Then I added half of an inch as his, which, which gives me 9.75. The back waist level. The back waist level is the measurement taken from the shoulder to the waist point at the back, from the nape of the neck downward to the waist point. So that is 19.5. Then the hip level. Hip level is the measurement taken from waist point to the hip point. That is the fullest part of the hip. I have 6 inches. Then the chest circumference measurement. The chest circumference measurement I'm working with is 37 inches. And because it is a measurement taken in circumference, it has to be divided by 4. And I have 9.25 plus extra 2 inches as his, which gives me 11.25. Then the waist circumference measurement is 34 inches. Divided by 4, I have 8.5 inches. I did not add any his to it. So in the course of the tutorial, you, you will know why I did not add his to the waist. Then the hip circumference measurement I'm working with is 38 inches. Divided by 4 gives me 9.5 inches. No is added as well. Waist to ankle. That is the measurement taken from waist to the ankle of the wearer. I have 38.5 inches. Then the also tunnel length. The full sutana length is equal to the waist length, that is the back waist level, plus waist to ankle. So the back waist level is 19.5, plus waist to ankle is 38.5, and I have 58 inches. Then other measurement is the next circumference measurement. And because it is a broader sutana, which requires collar around the neckline, bishop collar in particular. So the next circumference measurement has to be taken which I have 15 inches. Then the neck width is 3 inches. The front neck depth is 2 inches. The back neck depth is 1.75. So the neck width, which is 3 inches, has to be the same for both front and back. So please, all you need to do is just to learn how to take measurements for a male figure, which I already have a provision for that. So I have a full tutorial on how to take measurements for a male shirt, where you get to know how to take all these measurements accurately. When you are drafting pattern for a male sutana, all you need to do is just take the measurement accurately 
when you watch this video you will know how to take measurement for a male figure so the way you take measurement for a male figure is totally different from that of female figure how do you measure the back the chest circumference the hip level the waist the waist level the waist level of a, a male figure is taken at the back not at the front so you can see it is necessary for you to watch this video the link to the video is in the description box under this video in drafting this pattern i will start with the back panel i'm starting with the back panel because the front panel is different from the back panel so when we are drafting the front panel you will know the reason why I'm starting from the back panel. So I have my pattern paper laid already and I've inserted all my vertical measurements. All the vertical measurements I have here are the chest level. I will be coming to the upper part to explain later. So this is the chest level. This is the waist level. I have the hip level. I have the sutana length and I have the hem allowance line. So this is the starting point where this line i labeled as the starting point that is where i started taking the measurement all my vertical measurements so this is the edge of my pattern paper as you can see i have a line here which i labeled as a starting point and i have another line here which i did not label i'll be explaining into details so from the starting point line i inserted all my vertical measurements the chest level the waist level the hip level so don't forget when you are taking measurement for the waist level for the hip level rather it has to be from waist to hip and when you are taking measurement for the sotana length as well it has to be from waist downward to the desired length or to the ankle length because it is a sotana so now this is the part i will be explaining which you have to pay a close attention to so this is the hedge of the pattern paper from this point to this point is two inches like so then from this starting point to the lower line is two inches so which means from the edge of the pattern paper to this line is four inches so that is measurement i have from the edge of the pattern paper to this point this is the center of the measurement which is two inches so i measure this four inches because when you are drafting pattern for a male figure whatever style you are making either shades senator wear caftan the back panel is usually longer than the than the front panel the back panel is usually longer than the front panel and the standard measurement is four inches the back panel is four inches longer than the front panel now i started taking this measurement because the remaining two inches i have up at the upper part here is for the front panel by the time this is folded on the front panel when we get to the front panel do we understand when i place the pattern on each order so this is how we'll be having it so this edge is going to be the shoulder joining point so this point has to be moved away from the shoulder line this other part is what we fall on the shoulder line also i already have a video as well on how to draft a male body's pattern how to draft a male body's pattern so the link to the video is available in the description box in this video i explained into details because the video is dedicated for a male body's pattern why you have to add four inches to the back pan panel what you can do in order not to have a shortage when you are attaching the when you are joining the front and the back panel together everything is well explained why you will know how you will not have a shortage around the ammo and every other thing so the link to the video is available in the description box so watch this video as well so that you can get along easily in this tutorial okay so i place the edge of my measuring tape on this starting point you can see when I folded the pattern, this point falls at the shoulder. So that was why my measuring tips falls on this point. So that was why I took all my vertical measurements. So the next step is to construct the neckline. So now I'll be constructing the back neckline and this has to be constructed on the edge of the pattern paper, not on the starting point. So this side is the center back of my pattern. This is the center back. 
that was what i labeled it at cb center back so from the center back side i will insert the neck width measurement i'm working with which is three inches this three inches is standard okay this three inches is standard and i use three inches because the sotana is going to carry a bishop collar So that was why I used 3 inches. Now for the depth, I will be using 1.75 as the neck depth. And in case you are wondering why I used up to 1.75, so don't forget the front is going to take part of the measurements I have here. So I will be reducing the neck depth for the front and I will increase the neck depth I have for the back. That was why I used 1.75. So initially it's supposed to be one inch that is a standard measurement for the neck back neck depth so and again it is a pattern i can actually do any correction i have to do before cutting out the pattern after constructing the neckline i will not just go ahead and cut it out i will take the measurement and confirm what i have i'm going to add the front neck and the back neck together and it has to be equal to the next circumference measurement i'm working with so on this line i will insert the the three inches neck width so that i will have a perfect square okay and with the help of the triangle shape i have on my ruler i'll be placing this on the angle point in order to get the midpoint okay then i will extend this outward from this angle point to meet the point i marked so from the center back line on the neckline then i'll come in by one inch sorry i will come in by 1.5 inches so that's one and half. Then I'll be constructing this with my arm hook curve. If you don't know how to use your tools, I have a video on how to use your pattern drafting tools. Or you don't even know the necessary tools you can start with. I have a well detailed video where I explain all the necessary tools you can start with. You don't need to waste your resources on the unnecessary ones. The basic ones that are very important that you need to start with before adding other ones to them. And how do you position all these rulers? What do you use them for? All the rulers does not serve the same purposes. The, we have rulers that, is, that fit for the hip. We have rulers that fit for the side. We have rulers that fit for the armhole. We have rulers that fit for the neckline. So all these are well explained in this video. The link to the video will be available in the description box as well. So the neckline is ready and the next step is to create the shoulder slope. In creating the shoulder slope, I'll be inserting half of the back measurement I'm working with. Half of the back measurement I'm working with is 9 inches, so which means the back measurement I'm working with is 18 inches. So this is the point. And I will be adding ease of 1 inch. I'm adding ease of 1 inch because it is a sotana. There is no opening as the center front, no opening as the center back so it has to be free as much as possible so that it will be easy to put in and off so i'm adding one inch as his so this will help the armhole to be free from being ripped up ripped off so i cross this out so this is the back point and i'll come to the chest level and insert the same measurement now i have 10 inches in total so 10 inches so i'll be inserting the same 10 inches on the chest level then i'll be connecting the two points together to make a straight line Okay, so this line is the arm O line. And I will label it as the arm O, the A is arm O, and the L is line. So that is the arm O line. 
Then, from this line at the edge of the pattern paper, I will be bringing it down by one and a half inches. So this one and a half inches is standard for all male figure. For female, is one inch. And I'll be connecting this 1.5 inches point to the neck width point in order to create the shoulder slope. So whatever I have here is no more in use. All these are no more in use. So this is the shoulder line. So the next step is to create the arm O, to construct the arm O. So now in constructing the arm hole, I will be taking this measurement, the measurement I have from the starting point. Please notice from the starting point to the chest level. And I will get the midpoint of the measurement. Okay, so this is the midpoint and I will extend the midpoint inward. Like so. Okay, then on this line, I will insert half of an inch. So this measurement is standard as well. I will insert half of an inch in order to construct the arm O. Okay, so after this step, the next step is to insert half of the chest circumference measurement so this part is also very important the chest circumference measurement i'm working with is 37 inches so please don't forget all these measurements are not taken separately or specially for sutana the measurements are taken accurately the way they're supposed to be taken either for sutana for shirts for captain for button down shirts for senator wear but the only difference is the amount of the ease i will be adding so which will make it to be free on the wearer because it is a sotana so i took the measurement accurately as well the chest circumference i'm working with is 37 inches this wearer if i'm sewing senator wear for him i'm using the same 37 inches if i'm making button down shirt for him i'm using the same 37 inches the only difference is the amount of the ease i will be adding so the 37 inches divided by 4, I have 9.25, 37 inches divided by 4, 9.25. So you can see where the 9.25 inches falls. This is normal for male figure. When you divide their chest circumference measurement by 4 and you divide their back measurement by 2, is either the fall on the same point or one is shorter than the other so quarter of the chest circumference measurement for me is usually smaller than half of their back measurement just the way god has created them they have a wider back than the chest so for this reason i cannot create the arm o like so so this cannot give me the shape of the arm -o. so i'll be adding extra inches in order to give room for the arm o so from this point i will add two inches so you can see with this the measurement has fallen after the armhole line so i'm adding two inches so this is not in use then i will take my armhole ruler so this is for the armhole and i'll be connecting this point this point and this point so please note the starting point so I'll be connecting the three points together. So please, if you would like to learn how to make this for children, for kids, I have a new channel which I just created. It is dedicated for kids wear. Both male and female, you want to make sutana for your kids, your male children, your female children, Danshiki traditional wears, native wears. All these are what I put in mind before creating this channel. I already have a video on how to draft a basic bodice pattern for a male child between 1 to 16 years. So with this, you'll be able to draft sutana for your male children. So the link to the channel 
is available in the description box it has been linked up in the description box under this tutorial so please check out this channel encourage me by subscribing to the channel i'm looking up on you guys for the growth of this new channel so the name of the channel is kids wear with reggie so as you can see i have the arm o now and i will take this measurement in order to be sure i have more than half of the ammo circumference measurements of the wearer it has to be more than the measurement because it is a sotana no opening at the front no opening at the back the only opening will be on the shoulder line so there must be room for ease So here I have exactly 11 inches and the ammo circumference measurement I'm working with is 18.5 inches. Half of 18.5 is 9.25 plus half of an inch 9.75. So with this I have enough ease on the ammo. Okay, so this is set to. The next step is to insert the horizontal measurements. Horizontal measurements are measurements taken in circumference. So I will be inserting the waist circumference measurements on the waist level line, the hip circumference measurements on the hip level line. So the waist circumference measurement I'm working with is 34 inches. 34 divided by 4, I have 8.5 inches. Okay, so this is 8.5 inches point. So I'm supposed to add ease to this, but I'm not adding ease because I will be attaching an extension by the side of the sotana. So this is going to serve as the ease. So I'm maintaining this point. Then on the hip level, I will insert quarter of the hip circumference measurement. The hip circumference measurement I'm working with is 38 inches. 38 divided by 4, I have 9.5 inches which I will maintain as well. I'm not adding ease. So by the time I'm cutting out the extension, I will have like one to two inches as his on the waist and on the hip. So the measurement I have on the hip level is what I will be inserting on the sotana length. So on the sotana length, I will be inserting the same measurement I have on the hip level, which is 9.5 inches. but I will not insert any measurements on the hem allowance line. In connecting the side, I will start from the armhole point points and connect the armhole point to the waist point. In connecting the waist, uh, the armhole point to the waist point, I'll be making use of my very firm curve. So this is not meant to be on a straight line because the side is not on a straight line completely. It has a little bit of curvy effect, though not as curvy as that of female. But notwithstanding, it is not on a straight line. So that was why I'm using the this side of my very firm curve. You can see it looks like a straight line, but it is not a straight line. Then connection from the waist to hip requires a slight curve. So I'll be using the curve side of my very, very firm curve to achieve this area. So please, connection from waist to hip is not a straight line and the curve has to be towards the side so the, the curve is not coming inward it's not facing the center back the positioning is not like so not like this it's going to be positioned this way so the curve has to go out so then i'm connecting the waist to the hip then connection from the hip point to the sotana length is a straight line. So which I will be making use of my super long straight ruler. So now I'm connecting from the hip point to the sotana length. So can you see what I have? So guys, the back pattern is ready for the sotana and I will proceed in drafting the front pattern. So in drafting the front panel, I will place 
this pattern paper underneath the back panel and transfer all the lines I have on the new pattern paper. Now I have my new pattern paper underneath the back panel and I'll be transferring all the vertical lines I have here using my tracing wheel. Now I've transferred all my vertical lines on the new pattern paper which is the front panel and this is what I have. I have all the lines so this is the front panel and this is the back panel so you can see this is the starting point i have this starting point is what i labeled as the back starting point on the front panel and the other line i have here which i did not label on the back panel i label it as front starting point on the front panel so the head of the pattern paper is still there so i have the chest level I have the waist level, I have the hip level, I have the sotana length, and I have the hem allowance line. I use 3.5 inches as the hem allowance. So now I will be placing the front panel on the back panel like so. So the front panel will be on the back panel. And I will make sure the two edges are lined, especially the center. So this is the center front. Here is the back panel. So can you see what I have? The measurement I have from the edge of the pattern paper up to the back starting point I have on the front panel is not in use for the front panel. I don't need it for the front panel. So I will be trimming it off on this line. So this back starting point, I'll be cutting on the line and trash it. I don't need it for the front panel. So that is the first step. So this is the front starting point as I said earlier. So this is a shoulder line. So like so. So this would be this line, the front starting point line will be on the other line I have here on the back panel. The two have to align. So which means this part also will be trimmed off. So because this has to overlap on this line. Can you see what I have? So I'll be having it like so. So this can be a little bit confusing, but just take your time to watch it properly. Or let me give you a clue. When I transferred all my lines, you can see I have to turn on the hem allowance and everything. What I have on the back panel is what I transferred on the front panel. So pick your hem allowance for the front hem back make sure the two align tape it together and extend the front panel upward on the back panel so wherever it falls so once it falls on this line so it means you are it means you are right so the front starting point on the back panel must fall on the other line which I did not label on the back panel. So which means this line is for the front panel as well. So these two lines must align. By the time these two points align, the lower part of the sutana will align as well. So every extra I have from this point upward will be trimmed off. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so I have my front panel on the back panel right now. You see what I have? So the two are going together like so. So which means 
from this point downward is for the front so I've taken two inches from the front and had it from the back and had it to the front so the next step is to construct the front neckline and the front arm hole so in constructing the front neckline I will be inserting the same neck width measurement I use for the back which is three inches and for the front depth I will use two inches So I'm using two inches for the depth. So on this line, I will insert the same neck width measurement, which is three inches. And with this, I can construct the neckline. So I'm getting the midpoint of the angle. So from this point, I will come in by one inch. Then from the center front, I will come in by one inch. Then I will construct the neckline. So after constructing the front neck measurement, I will take this measurement and I will measure the back neckline as well. I will be adding the two together and confirm if I have up to the next circumference measurement I'm working with. So here I have 4 inches. So that is 4 in 2 places, which is 8. Back to I have 4 inches, so that is 4 in 2 places, I have 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. And the next circumference measurement I'm working with is 15 inches. So I have to adjust my front neckline. So the value I have is too much for the next circumference measurement I'm working with. All I need to do is just reduce the neck depth measurement. So I'll be using 1.75 instead of two inches So after which I will remeasure the neckline. So here I have 3.75 and I'll be adjusting the back neck as well. So now I have 3.75, so 3.75 plus 3.75 is 7.5, so which means I have 7.5 for the
for the back neck and I have 7.5 for the front neck. All together gives me 15 inches. So with this, my measurement is accurate. So when constructing my collar, there will not be any issue of the collar being too wide or too, too tight. So the next step is to construct the armhole. So in constructing the armhole, I will be inserting half of the back measurement. So it's, it has to be the same thing with what I used on the back panel, which is 10 inches. So now I'll be taking the measurement of the armhole line and divide it into two. So whatever I have. So don't forget this starting point is for the front and back. So they both share the line. So that was why I trimmed off the one I have on the front panel. So that I will see the one I have on the back panel clearly. I'll get the midpoint which is here. So then from the midpoint, I will extend the point inward towards the center front. Then on this line, so then on this line, I will come up, I will come in by 0.75. Don't forget I use 0.5 for the back armhole. The front armhole is usually deeper than the back armhole. So this is standard. So I will use 0.75. on that line so this is the chest measurement point i have on the back the same point so i'll be connecting this point together to construct the front armhole so the construction has to start from this point the starting point this is part of the armhole i constructed for the back you can see the curve so these two has to align i must position my ruler in such a way it's aligned with this part of the back arm hole so that when the two are joined together they are, the arm hole will not have any broken point Okay, so this is what I have for the front arm um, hole, and I'll be taking the measurement as well in order to confirm if I have enough ease on the arm hole. So the arm hole area has to be free as much as possible because it is a celestial garment. So here I have almost the same thing I have for the back arm or it is more than the arm with circumference measurement um, so all I need is just to make sure it is more than the arm with circumference measurement I'm using so the next step is to construct the shoulder line for the front panel so but before constructing the shoulder line I will be cutting off the back neckline and the shoulder line for the back so this is what will make it easier so this is the most technical part of the whole process So when you take your time in doing this, you will not have any issue when you are ready to construct the sutana. Okay, so the most important thing you need to have at the back of your mind is these two are going together. So you can see what we have here. The two are going together. So this we have to overlap on the front panel. So this part is going off. So 
so as you can see what I have here this is the neckline so as you can see what I have here this is this is the neckline and I must create the shape I have this is the shape I have left after shaping after shaping the shoulder line so this is what I have left from the two inches I have at the upper part so what I have left is just 1.5 inches so I'll be extending this downward like so so I'll be extending it downward to meet the front shoulder line So I'll be extending it to meet the front shoulder line. So in shaping the front shoulder line, from this point, which is the starting point for the front, I will come down by one and a half inches on the armhole line, not on the armhole I constructed. So on the armhole line, I will come down by 1.5 inches. Then I will connect this point to the neck width point. Okay, so the pattern is ready as you can see. So I can cut out the neckline and the shoulder line for the front. So I will not be cutting the side now. So when I'm ready to cut the side, I will place the front panel underneath the back panel and I will be cutting the two together at the same time. So I'm cutting the front neck. and the shoulder line. So the next step is to cut the side. So now I'm placing the back panel on the front panel and my concentration will be on the M line. So I'll make sure the two M lines align like so and I will secure the two together with my stapler. So now I've placed the front panel underneath the back panel as you can see and I align the centers together. The center front and the center back are both aligned together which I secured with my paper tape and I secured the M line as well with my stapler. So with this I can go ahead and cut the side of the patterns together at the same time. So now I will start cutting from the M line. So this is my M allowance. As you can see, this is the sutana length. So from this point to the M allowance line, I have 3.5 inches. So I'll be folding on the sutana length in order to fold in my hem allowance. So by the time I cut by the side, I will not have a shortage. So I'm holding the two patterns together at the same time. So this is the M line for the front and the back panel. So once I cut all through the M allowance, I will bring it out. Okay, I can feel it. So this is what I have. Then I will continue cutting and stop on the chest level. So now I can separate the front and the back panel. So I'm holding only the back panel to cut the arm off.
okay so i'll be cutting on the front arm oil as well So the two panels are ready the front and the back panel thanks so much for watching this video to this point let's meet in the second part of this tutorial where i'll be showing you guys how to draft the side extension the collar and the sleeve and also assembling all these pieces to make a gorgeous brother sultana till i come your way next time always do remember there is no elevator to success you have to take the stairs.